WARNING! It's so wrong. But it feels so right! Hey! What's up, uh, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Figma Kill La Kill Satsuki Kiryuin! So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right here, you got Kill La Kill, you got some life fibers going on right there. Figma 249, Kiryuin Satsuki Kill La Kill. On this side of the box, you have, hey, eyes up here, eyes up here, there you have Satsuki. On the other side, you have Satsuki's... Uh, but right there is the butt shot really necessary? Is that is that really necessary? Yeah, yeah, it is actually. But anyway, on the top you have Angry Satsuki. On the bottom, Angry Satsuki. On the back of the box you have your obligatory product shot. She does this, that, the other, all that stuff. And that's it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Satsuki Sama. Miss Satsuki Kiryuin, and a uh, very, very cool figure here of Miss Satsuki. And um, again, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing stuff. Again, I'm, I'm not Japanese. I'm a Puerto Rican from Philly, so I'm doing the best I can with these names and these words. Got me some slack, okay? <laughs> I'm doing my best. But anyway, here we have Satsuki, and a uh, very cool figure. Um... I definitely dig it. Uh, definitely a nice counterpart to the uh, Ryuko uh, Figma. And we'll take a close look at her. We'll take her off the base here because you need the base. One thing about this figure is it's really hard to get her to stand on her own. It's possible. You can do it, but it is quite the balancing act. And you can kind of get her feet planted and, you know, you can see she just kind of wants to tilt. It, it's possible to get her balance, but it's just a lot easier to just use the stand. But... Anyway, let's get in close here so you can see the details on this lady right here. So there you got the face sculpt. Nice face sculpt. Again, love the paintwork there in the eyes. Looks really good. Looks very anime, as it should. And the hair uh, has a nice shading to it. It's not just one solid color. There are different shades going on there to give it the highlights and the shadows. And looks really, really good. And you move on to Junkets. And uh, looks very cool. The, the, the paintwork on the eyes here is very, very nicely done. And everything is actually molded in. You can kind of see the mold lines in there. So this is not just paint apps. This is actually like molded in. And uh, looks really nicely done. Got the blue trim. Just really pops. And very nice. And of course the, uh, the chest region is very um, <clears throat> detailed. <laughs> And uh, moving down here, the straps, for some reason this strap, the strap on this side is like bent out of shape and it's very weird and it's, it may just be a case of I might just have to take a hair dryer to this to just kind of get it back in shape so it, it's straight in the way it's supposed to be because it's always like in a stall. So I may just have to take a hair dryer to that and just like get that back where it's supposed to go. But yeah, that, that's a little thing that, uh, you know, out of the box that bugged me a little bit. And I don't know why that even happened, but it's a thing. And of course, the straps are, like a, a like I said, a soft plastic. So if they do get bent out of shape, you can just kind of take a hair dryer to it. And that should fix that. But anyway, moving on to the details here. Like right under, uh, you can see the, the, the venting there on Junkets. Very cool. And you got these little arm pieces here, which are nicely molded. And got some nice crisp blue paint apps, as long as the striping down... The arm and the black right there. A little bit of paint bleed, right, right there. Right there, but that's okay. And then moving down to her, you know, her, her thong, basically. <laughs> nicely detailed again, nicely painted. You get the little side pieces right here on her hips. Which again, got the blue right there with the black in the center. Again, nicely molded. Nice crisp blue striping. Going down the stockings all the way down to her feet. And the shoes are nicely done. The high heels look good. Of course, moving on to the back side, you can see all this hair that she has hanging down here. Nicely detailed. And again, you know, playing with the, uh, the, the, the lights and the shadows there. And the paint looks really good. If you lift up her hair, you can see what's going on back here. You can kind of see this little kind of spine effect here with Junkettes and her, yeah. 
and her butt, yeah, butt shot, butt shot, sure. <laughs> so, there you have that. But yeah, very, very nicely detailed figure. Um, articulation-wise, um, articulation in the head is very limited just due to the giant shoulder pieces and all this hair. Um, so, you're not going to get a lot of side-to-side -side movement. That's pretty, I mean, uh, if you force it... That's about as much as you're going to get. And you have to kind of, as you can see, I, I'm moving things out of the way to accommodate that. So you're not getting a lot of head movement out of her. You can get some, you know, get some wiggly waggly movement. You can get some side to side movement there. So she's going to be all like, oh, really? Oh, oh, really? You think you can beat me? Re 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 really? 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 Are you that stupid? You know, that you can totally get that going on there. So, I mean, you get some good wiggly-waggly movement. Side-to-side -side movement, like I said, is, is very hindered. You can kind of move the shoulder pieces out of the way a little bit to kind of accommodate, but then things kind of start going at weird angles. So that is what it is. Um, these little horns here coming out of her head, this is something you do need to be careful with. This is like a very uh, thin piece of plastic. This isn't, this isn't soft plastic. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of give to it, but this is by no means like the soft rubbery plastic like the straps. This is definitely a harder plastic. Um, and, and as you can see, it, it's a thin piece. So this is something definitely you want to be careful with because if you just kind of... If you're trying to pose her head and kind of, you know, get a hold of this and, and pull this the wrong way, you could probably snap those right off. So definitely be careful with the uh, with the horns here. Um, her hair is actually articulated. This back piece right here is a very soft plastic, so it will move out of the way. Oops. So we'll move out of the way. And uh, these two separate pieces are on ball joints, so you can move them around. You can kind of move them up a bit to have her hair just kind of blowing in the wind right there and you can you know as you can see you can kind of fan the hair out and it looks cool from the front there you can just kind of take it and just kind of compress everything in right there you can't actually put it any closer to her back than this that's it you can't actually have the hair down against her back it's always going to be just kind of bowed out like this so you know that's just something to note um she does have articulation right here like a, an ab crunch um, you do get some, you know, a little bit of an ab crunch. It doesn't move backward that much. You do get some nice side to side movement. Again, be careful with the straps. They are soft plastic, so they will flex, but do not push it too far because you don't want to risk, you know, tearing those. So, and, and pretty much that's as much movement as, you know, seems natural anyway. And here's another little thing that bugs me. We'll get to that in a little bit. But yeah, you know, you still get a pretty good range of movement and, you know, pretty much as much movement as the human body will allow, really. So, <laughs> works for me. And again, like I said, a little bit of ab crunch. Now, the hips are nice art and articulated. These pieces right here are a soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about bending anything here. The one thing that bugs me is that this little hip piece right here, and you can see because it came undone, it just pegs in to the side of her hip right here. And as you're moving the leg around, you can see... It pops out very easily, so it doesn't take a lot to pop that little hip piece out. Um, the legs, as they are, they go forward, you know, about that much. They go back about that much. She has, she has too much booty there, so it doesn't let her leg go back that far. You do get some nice outward movement there. You do get a swivel right up top. Uh, the knee joint has nice range of movement there. The feet can move up and down, and of course, depending on how you work that joint, you can you know move it sideways and you can get some ankle tilt out of it. Um, but like I said, this this little hip piece here does bug me because it pops out really, really easily. On this side, it works a lot better. On this side, it actually does not pop out that easily. See, I can just kind of wiggle these legs around, and it's not really coming undone. It's staying in place very, very well. Um, but for some reason, the one on this side does not take a lot to pop that out. I mean, if worse comes to worse, you can take a little dab of glue and just kind of glue it in place. And the leg will actually still move fine if you glue those into place. So, I don't know. Just a thing to note. Um, articulation in the arms. I totally did not go over the arm articulation. Uh, the arms can go forward. And, and Junkets does have articulation here in the shoulder pieces. It can angle outward some, it can angle in. You do get some forward and backward movement here. There is a hinge right here, so it will accommodate, you know, 
the uh, arm movement. So if you move her arms forward, you can kind of move Junkets out of the way here. So she can still get some full range of arm movement there, moving upward. Outward movement, again, you know, he only moves out of the way but so far, but you can pretty much get her arm straight out. They do have this joint right here in the shoulder that you can pull out right there, so you can get some extra articulation so she can, you know, put her arms in front of her chest, you know, cross her arms and whatnot. Um, there is a swivel. There is a cut right up here, right underneath this piece. I don't really use it because, to me, that seems kind of like an unnecessary joint because you do have not only a nice full range of movement here at the elbow, but the elbow itself, there's rotation there. So, you know, for me, this joint up here is kind of useless since you can swivel the arm at the elbow. So you can pretty much do the same thing no matter what. So, uh, you know, that to me kind of comes off as kind of a useless joint. But, hey, it's there, you know. Um, and, of course, the wrists can rotate, and I do have a hinge that can move in and out. And this piece right here, the, the, the cuff, is a very soft plastic right there, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything. You see it has a lot of flex to it, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything there. So, Again, uh, very nice and poseable. Like I said, the only thing that's really limited is just the head movement. You can't do too much with her head. Um, now, of course, she does include the base, which is your standard uh, Figma base right there. You can see it says Figma right there, and you have... A swivel joint right here. You have a joint here, a joint here, a joint here, and this little piece that you plug into her back can also swivel. So you can use this to support numerous, numerous poses, and this just plugs right into her back right there. So you just plug it in, and there you go. She can stand, and luckily her hair gets out of the way of it, thankfully. So you have that. And of course, you know, the joints are nice and strong, so if you want to get her in some good, you know, if you want to get her in a a Junkets kick pose. Whoa! <laughs> that wasn't the joints being loose. That was just, uh, it wasn't balanced properly, but there you go. If you want to get her in like a writer Junkets kick pose, you can totally do it. So it's good for, you know, good flying action poses. And if the joints are loose, I mean, there are screws right there. You can just tighten up those screws to make those joints tighter if they are too loose on yours. And of course, this little hip piece came undone again! How dare you. There you come undone. You and your hips. You and your hips. I thought your hips didn't lie. No, wait, that's Shakira. Oh, sorry. Anyway. So, there she is on the stand. Just get her all straightened out here. And of course, for a comparison, here she is with Ryuko. So you can see how they look together. They look good together. You can see Satsuki is a bit taller, which I believe is... Yeah, I believe she is taller than Ryuko. So, there you go. They got the two together. Very cool. Look very good together. I really do dig them. Really, really do. So, there you go. And for a uh, another comparison here. Here she is with... The Nendoroid. Oh, that's just precious. Oh, so precious. <laughs> uh, I love it. Just, it's just adorable. So, there you have her with the Nendoroid. Satsuki. And somebody asked me before, how do these scale with figure arts? Um, here, he is, here she is with the, uh, with the Gaim figure art. And, well, I put him on the base there. It'll be a little more accurate. You can see these are basically figure art size. Right there, so... That's how it scales with the figure arts. And here she is with the Real Action Heroes version. So you can see how it scales there. And obviously that's two totally different scales. There you have that right there. For a comparison. And there you go. And since you got a little peek at it just now, because it's sitting right off to the side. This was apparently like a pre-order bonus that you, that was included with the figure. It's just a little, you know, paper cutout of some one-star Goku uniform dudes. And uh, it's basically just, you know, you fold it up. There's another crease right here. There's a crease right here, a crease right here, and you're just supposed to, like, 
fold it up and either glue it or just tape it right there. I don't do that because, you know, I'm not really going to display them with this, so I'm going to put this right back in the box. But if you just kind of fold it up like that, I mean, it stays up just fine. And you can have Satsuki there with some one-star Goku uniform dudes behind her. So, <laughs> It's neat. It's cute. It is what it is. I mean, it's just a, a piece of paper, but, you know, it's something for a backdrop. It's a display option. I know the Ryuko actually came with a uh, a Mako, but um, since I got my Figma, like, way after the fact, obviously, I didn't get that. But um, since I did plug down a pre-order for her very early, um, I did get this included with it. So, again, it's a display option if you want to use it, so. You do have that. Now, of course, let's get down to the other accessories that this comes with. She comes with, of course, her signature weapon right here, the Bakuzan. We'll get in closer so you can see the details. Nicely detailed, nicely painted, nice silver paint right there. Um, and very nicely detailed. Very cool. You got the straps right here. You got the little tassels. The silver right down here looks very, very nice. The silver paint is just really nice. Lovely silver paint. And, uh, yeah, it looks very, very good. So there you have a sheathed version of the Bakuzan. And you also get an unsheathed version of the Bakuzan. Again, getting closer so you can see the details. Again, just as nicely detailed right there. Nice silver paintwork. Looks very, very cool. And the blade is nicely done. Um, it is a, a soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything. So, very, very nice, though. These little points right here, these little these pieces right here, I mean, they are a soft plastic. You can see there's a little bit of flex to them, but this is something that I would definitely be careful with. But um, otherwise, a, a very nicely done piece. So she has her buckles on. And she does come with a scissor blade right here. This is Harime Nui's scissor blade, the other half of the rending scissors. And uh, yeah, this is done in red instead of the uh, the purple. But still, very nicely done. Nice glossy red. Looks very good. Just pops and you got the nice molded details there in the handle. Very cool. So you get the other side of the rending scissors. And you also get Harime Nui's scissor blade in decapitation mode. So again, you have the extension there of the blade and the handle folded out right there. And just for comparison there, so you can see how much bigger it gets. There you have it right there. So, there you go. Very, very cool. You do get alternate faces. You do get, now obviously we just have kind of the regular kind of stoic face on her, you know, just fierce gaze. Fierce. Fierce gaze. You get that face and you also get angry Satsuki face right there. <laughs> Which again, the paint apps are very nice, very crisp, very clean, looks very good, and the paint apps and the molded detail there in the mouth looks really, really good as well. Very, very well done. So you do get that face, as well as a little smirking face as she's looking off to the side, you know, like she's confident. She's like, yeah, I'm going to kick your butt. I know I will, because I'm Satsuki. Hi. <laughs> so you get that face going on there. You do get the sprue, the tray, whatever you want to call it. I call it a sprue. Um, the sprue of hands here. So you do get some weapon holding hands, some uh, hands for her signature pose, some more weapon holding hands. You get some splayed out hands. I don't know why you can see this. I'm sorry because everything's kind of messing with my autofocus here. You do get the splayed out hands. Again, you get some weapon holding hands. You know, these, these hands have more of an open grip. These have more of a closed grip. And again, these hands are for holding the Bakuzan in her signature pose and the splayed out hands. And this one always loves to fall out because it actually doesn't stay on at all. It just, whoop. for some reason, this hand doesn't like to stay in as securely as the other ones. You don't know why, but that's a thing. And you also do get this extra weapon holding hand. And, um... Again, you get, you get a lot of options for weapon holding hands, and I honestly don't know what is meant for what, <laughs> um, really, um, because 
you know, some hold the weapons kind of loosely, some hold the weapons nice and snug. I I usually opt for the hands that hold the weapons a lot more snugly. So most of the time I really don't know what the varying grips are for. Sometimes I, I think maybe the more open hands are meant for the decapitation mode so you can hold the thicker part of of the uh, the handle. I, I'm not entirely sure because you see this is actually, you know, it's pretty loose here. But, um... Again, it's just that case of, you know, just kind of mess around with it and just see what works for you. Um, but you get that. And you do get an extra wrist peg right here. So in case you break one, you do have a spare. So that's always nice that they include that. And you get this little bit right here. Which is, oops, which is very easy to drop because it's so tiny. You get this bit right here. As you can see, it just has two little red ends at the end. And it's a little transclearance plastic in the middle. And what this is for is, if you have this figure, obviously you should have the Ryuko figure, which means you have Ryuko scissor blade. So what you do is, you take the one half of the scissors here, you take the other half of the scissors, and what you're going to do is, I always forget which way this is supposed to go, this way. You take this little cap off, there's a cap on one end, that you just pop off, come on, there you go. Pop it off. And again, these are very these are very tiny pieces as you can see, so do be careful. Try not to drop them because you could easily lose this. But you just take this and put it through Anime Nui scissor blade. Right there. And then you put it through the hole in Ryuko scissor blade. Right there. And then you just take the little red cap, put it on. And voila! Now you have the full rending scissors right there. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. So there you go. Snippity snip snip snippity snip snip snippity snip snip. There you go. So that's pretty cool. That's I, I, I really do like that. That's a very nice inclusion here with the uh, with the set. So then we'll try to get this put back together without losing anything. Ah, there we go. Like, at one, one time I actually did lose this cap. Like, I actually just, like, popped off and I didn't know where it went. And I'm, like, looking all over the floor for it. Luckily, I found it. So, yeah, like I said, do be careful with that little cap piece. And that little cap piece won't come off. How am I going to get it out? It's Bakuzan. Help me, Bakuzan. There you go. See? The Bakuzan. It's all wise, all knowing, all powerful. It can help you get small things out of tight spots. What's, what's happening here? I don't know. So I'll pop that off. And in case anybody's wondering if you have uh, Ryuko's, I mean, again, obviously, if you have this figure, you should have Ryuko. If you have Ryuko's version of the scissor blade in decapitation mode, you can totally do decapitation mode rending scissors as well. Let's do the same thing here. Just plop them together. And go through. Again, just pop the cap back on. This tiny tiny, tiny little cap, and there you go. So you have the rending scissors in decapitation mode. I don't know which way this is supposed to go, but either way. You get decapitation mode rending scissors if you wish, which is pretty, pretty cool. So again, I will try to do this without losing anything. Ah, there we go. I'm always so afraid of losing this tiny little cap because I almost did it before. So there we go. So there you have that, and we will just put this back together and put this off to the side and pray we never lose it. So there you go. But yeah, um, the hands are very easy to swap. You just pop them off. They pop off her, uh, her right hand here. And we will give her a weapon holding hand here. Where's the Bakuzan? And we will give her her Bakuzan. That's really the only weapon she needs is a Bakuzan. That's a baby. That's her bay. That's her boo. Whatever word people are using these days. <laughs> Whatever vernacular the kids are using these days to describe somebody close to them. My bay. It's my bay now because for some reason that extra B is too much work. That's my bay. Everything, for some reason, needs to be shortened, even though it's already short. I don't get the internet sometimes. And sometimes getting the, the weapons in the hands can be quite a bit of a pain, and I always forget how I do it. The hands do have some flex to them. 
it's just a pain in the butt ah, to kind of get them in because they're just small pieces here that you're working into other small pieces and you're trying not to break anything ah, you know what let me use the more let me use the more open grip hands here there we go I use more open grip hands it holds it, it holds it a bit more loosely but it's just easier to get the sword in there there you go again you have to play around with the uh with the hand options just to see what works best for holding what so there you go there she is with her buckles on looking all bad that's right that's right mess with me mess with what 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 uh, did you say something excuse me excuse me sorry <laughs> I, I just have to I'm sorry but <laughs> there you have that right there you got her holding her bakuzan and just to show this off because I got to we just leave that in her hand we'll take these two hands right here we'll pop this one in right there pop out the left hand and put the other one in and of course you can get her in her signature pose right there and of course you can use all those joints to your advantage here you can pull those shoulders out and just move junkets around here get her arms in front of her right there use those joints you do want to make sure that the uh, the, uh, the the right hand is on the bottom you want the left hand over the right hand that's the proper way to pose her in this position here so you get that, and then you get the bakuzan in the sheath, and you just kind of get that under her hand. I wish there was some little, some little stand or something you could put this down on, because it is kind of a bit of a balancing act. You just get it stuck down right, because as you can see, it's not flat. It's actually at a point. So sometimes it's a little bit awkward to kind of get her to hold this straight without it falling over. But if you get everything working just right... There you go. It's a little off center actually, but you get the gist of it. You can get her in her signature pose right there. And that looks really cool. So there you go. I dig it. I dig it. And of course, like I said, you know, obviously you gotta move Junkets like way out of the way there for her to get her arms in that position, but at least he can move uh move out of the way there. So very, very cool. So, there you have that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, again, you can, you know, swap out. You have the splayed hands here. So, if you want to do some splayed hand poses or whatever for attacks and whatnot, you have the options again. Lots of hand options. Um, you know, actually, we'll swap out some faces here. I did not show off how that works. To swap out the face, it works just like with the real action heroes. You just want to take the front of her scalp off here. Just got to get your nail in there. Like that. Oh, and I knocked everything over. So you just remove her bangs here. And this part of her hair is a very soft plastic, so you don't have to worry about breaking anything here. There's a lot of give to it. Let's move that out of the way. And then just pull her face off. And, ah! That's not, that's not pleasant. That's not pleasant at all. And we'll give her the angry Satsuki face. And this will just, whoops, whoa. And this will just peg in right there. So you just peg that on like that. Give her her bangs back. Right there, there you go. Now she's angry. Now she's yelling at those pigs in human clothing. Right there, like that. There you go. You can have these dudes. <laughs> Again, this is a nice display option. You can have these dudes right here. There you go, standing there, yelling at them. <laughs> there you go. Display options. Aren't they great? <laughs> so, there you go. But yeah, that's how easy it is to swap the face. Of course, you can give her the, the smirking face if you wish. Totally up to you. But yeah. Very, very cool figure, like I said. Um, I dig it. You know, I, I, I love this show. So the second this one up for pre-order, I, I, I uh, plunked down a pre-order instantly when I saw this go up. And very happy with it. Um, like I said, goes great with Ryuko. Um, 
And I hope they do more. I, I really hope they do more. I don't know, you know, I, I I haven't gotten any wind of future releases for Figma. I don't keep up with Figma, so I don't know what they're putting out. So I don't know if they plan on doing any more any more kill a kill figures. I really, really hope they do. Like I said before, I would love Elite Four figures. I would love it. I would love it. I would love it. I would even take a Mako, honestly. I would even take a Mako Figma. But um, honestly, I would really love, you know, uh, uh, Elite Four figures. That would make me really, really happy. And if they make nothing else after that, then I'd be fine with it. But at least make figures of the Elite Four. Please. 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 Please, please. But like I said, I don't know if they have any plans on doing that or if this is, you know, her and Ryuko are it. Don't know, but... Either way, very cool figures. I mean, like I said, it, it does have its issues, obviously. Like I said, head articulation is very limited. This one hip piece on mine just loves to pop off really easily. But again, that could be a case of your mileage may vary. Because like I said, on this side, it stays on just fine. And this side is the one that's loose. So it's just kind of, you know, that's uh, probably just a case of your mileage may vary on, you know, the uh, how well these stay in. But, um... You know, other than that, you know, it's it's very, very cool, and I really like the figure. Um, the pre-order bonus, like I said, it's it's a nice extra display option if you want it. Again, it's just a piece of paper, but, you know. Granted, you could probably find this online and just print it out yourself if you really wanted to. Um, <laughs> so this isn't really much incentive, but hey, it's nice if it's included. But, um, like I said, all around... Very cool figure. I dig it. Um, you know, and as as far as any kind of recommendation, I don't really do recommendations anymore because you know, uh, I, I feel like you know it's not up to me. You know, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. If you want to buy this, buy this. If you don't want to buy this, doesn't affect me either way. Um, so you know, as far as recommendation goes, you know, all I'm going to say is it just depends on what you want out of your Satsuki figure. Um. You know, if you want something that's more of like a, you know, more of like a Hot Toys, then you can go with the Real Action Heroes version. Of course, these kind of figures are, you know, like I said, they're, they're more like Hot Toys. They're more like, you take them, you put them in a pose, you put them on the shelf, you put them in a detail, and you just leave them alone. You know, they're not figures that you really mess with because there are things that you could possibly break on them. And, you know, it's just a case of, like, you put them in a pose, put them on the shelf, and every now and then you can take them out, put them in a different pose, and put them on the shelf and leave them alone. You know, figures like these are, you know, these are full-blown action figures. These are things that you can put in crazy poses. These are things that you can pick up and play with. Um, so, it, again, it depends on what you want. And, again, if you just want something that's just flat-out adorable, then you can go with the Nendoroid. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, you know, like I said, it just depends on what you want out of this representation of the character. Do you want something that's a lot more poseable and playable? Do you want something that's more of a display piece? Totally up to you. Um, so there you go. But I uh, bought this from HLJ, Hobby Link Japan. And uh, not sure if they still have her in stock, but you can always check for availability. Um, BigBadToyStore.com does have some Kill the Kill stuff. You can check for availability in the description down below. But like I said, um, I got mine from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, you can also pick these up at uh, AmiAmi Hobby Search. Hobby Search has a lot of Kill the Kill stuff. A lot of it's sold out, but they have a lot of Kill the Kill stuff. Um, so you can check back there regularly to see if they get stuff back in stock. But um, yeah. Very cool. I, I, I dig it. Like I said, I love this show, so it's getting to where I'm just picking up whatever I can find of this series because I love this show so much, and I love these characters. So, very, very cool. So, I think that's it. So, of course, you can always check out my uh, Kill the Kill playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also, linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it for this chick right here. So, don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Figma Kill La Kill Satsuki Kid Yuen, and this is M-Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face!
Lady Satsuki, please forgive my constant failures. I promise I will get that Ryuko my toy. Just give me one more chance. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it off. That's it. Just leaving it off. Whatever. Whatever.